The European Anti-Piracy Task Force is expanding its operations around the Gulf of Aden, where Somali pirates have hijacked scores of vessels and taken tens of millions of dollars in ransom. For Europol TV, Alessandro Pavoni joined the French frigate de Grasse on patrol. Morning in Mombasa. As the de Grasse prepares for sea, her helicopter team finished preparations for a surveillance flight. Europe's naval force has up to 12 warships and several aircraft deployed at any one time. Working with their NATO allies, their mission is to protect vulnerable merchant vessels and fight piracy off the dangerous shores of Somalia. So we can take off on alert after a distress call of one vessel. And so we, we go there and we show if there is a suspected uh, pirate near vessel. And after we, we take a photo and we call the, our ship if there is something suspect. The helicopter is crucial when it comes to identifying the small motorboats used by pirates. Its French crew is ready to take on an enemy who's proved both determined and organized, even firing rockets at the ships they're targeting. And should a pirate skiff try to attack the frigate itself, it will be a very unequal contest indeed. It's quite easy uh, to, uh, to do the differences uh, between uh, fishermen and pirates. Pirates uh, usually use uh, tools uh, such as ladders, ammunition, weapons that are not used by fishermen. Since August, the de Grasse has been based in the port of Mombasa, patrolling the Gulf of Aden. The uh, different mission of uh, the UNAF for the first one is to escort uh, the convoy from uh, the World Food Program. The other uh, aim is uh, to protect the vulnerable shipping within it, uh, the uh, Amisum uh, ship. The third mission is uh, to deter and uh, to disrupt uh, the uh, piracy uh, in uh, the area. The International Maritime Bureau estimates that piracy off the Horn of Africa has grown substantially in recent years. Some 217 ships were reported as being attacked by Somali pirates during 2009. There are also reports that much of the estimated $80 million paid out in ransom so far has been laundered by organized crime syndicates based in Dubai and other Gulf states. The Greek tanker Maran Centaurus, carrying two million barrels of oil, was finally released by Somali pirates last February, after being seized in November. An aircraft dropped a ransom believed to be as much as seven million dollars, the largest ever. Piracy in general is a concern. Uh, the Gulf of Aden is one of the areas uh, where the commercial traffic is the heaviest in the world. If there is a threat against uh, this uh, commercial traffic, that may have a huge impact on the uh, European uh, market. We didn't come across any pirates during our day aboard the French warship, but during the long hours at sea, I did have the opportunity to hear a different point of view about piracy. Mohamed Garani Adan is a Kenyan journalist with Somali roots, who reported from Somalia for the humanitarian news service, Irin. Many people in Somalia believe that piracy uh, has been related with their normal life. They have seen that piracy is the only choice. There are vessels, uh, attackers from uh, other countries coming to the shore of Somalia, dismantling their livelihood as they think. We are not pirates, we are coastal guards by, by means. Fighting with the pirates by gun is not the solution. You cannot kill the snake on the head before finding his where the head is, the problem is inside the country. Piracy is still increasing. The challenge for the European Union will be to stop, to deter and to disrupt not only the pirates, but also their support in the region.